The space program, as most people understand it, is completely a front. They don't want us to know. There's a monolith. They deliberately smudged certain things. There's a whole nother reality going on out there. There really is another cost in the human race. The breakaway civilization. We're all coming forward with information and evidence that Alternative 3 is not some science fiction thing. Science fiction. People go through their lives on autopilot all the time. You wake up, you make breakfast, you go off to work, you do your thing, you belong to the machine for eight hours, you come home. But what people don't realize is that they need the truth. My opinion about the Red Sun missions, after making the film, I realized it's my job not to have an opinion. My job is to gather the information from as many credible sources as possible and put it together in a way that is understandable for the viewer. I think that the way we've presented it in the film gives you a good feeling of whether it's real. And I, I defer to my statement when I was talking about how we need to use the heart as our compass. Because I think that when we see this information, it's so profound that it goes directly inside past all the filters and gives you your own feeling and I want you to make up your own opinion. We, we didn't make this film to make a statement about something or have an opinion. We made this film because we think it's important for this information to be put together in a professional, cool way and let the people decide for themselves what resonates. Uh, essentially what's taking place is in the center of our galaxy is a black hole in an area called Sagittarius A. And for the last few years, there's been a massive body, uh, a plasma planet, that has been uh, sucked into this black hole. And the result is that there's been a massive explosion or implosion, explosion simultaneously that has pushed a lot of energy at our planet. And because of the way the alignment is of the galaxy, our Earth and our Sun and our solar system are getting much more of this directly than it ever has. Now, the Maya has talked about the, the cosmic ray from the center of the, of the galaxy. And it's interesting that they would maybe know about it or even have tech, uh, terminology about it. But it is indeed happening. And, and coupled with the Earth's weakening magnetic field, the, these new cosmic energies are actually affecting uh, the biochemistry of humans. Um, in particular, the pineal gland, which resonates at a very similar frequency as the resonant frequencies coming into our planet. Now, it all plays like a giant harp where the resonant energies are banging off the magnetic field of the Earth. These magnetic field, the Schumann resonances are beginning to vibrate stronger and these are beginning to affect. Uh, we found through biochemistry that uh, and biophysics that the human heart and the human organism also vibrates at similar frequencies. So there's a resonant uh, transmission, just like when you, when you bang uh, a tuning fork and you put it beside another tuning fork, the second one will begin to vibrate it in the same frequency. So we are, this is how the information transfer is happening. It's not happening because we have to think about it. It's happening because we're actually resonating with the universe, with the core of the universe. And that's what some people think will make the difference and push us to that next level of evolution. Now, the importance of the media is, I can't understate the importance of the media. Being a filmmaker myself, I took matters into my own hand and said, you know, it's time someone did this story this way. Um, and I coupled up with Tanya Maidenford of Screen Addiction and the two of us, we, we share this vision that we think it's time for this information to be put out in a way that makes it not sensational, not, um, you know, not bogged down with, um, you know, I hate to say it, but new age airy-fairiness, but just try to be concrete about it, try to be factual about what is out there. 
Uh, and I think it's every journalist's responsibility to dig deeper, to push uh, um, into areas and ask questions that is usually taboo. And I think, I think that's what's held back a lot of the of journalism is that the journalists are afraid to ask those questions because it will reflect badly on their careers. Maybe they're part of some journalistic organization uh, or they're, they're part of the, the White House Press Club where you know, you know you have scripted questions and you can't ask anything else. So I think the new model of journalism needs to keep pushing the boundaries and ask questions no one dares to ask.